Welcome to how to make a hidden entrance in a flat surface. This is a flat surface. This is the hidden entrance. This button can be located anywhere. I just have it here because that's where it fits into my world. And you can see all that in the Let's Play. It leads down to my farm down here. And there is another button here which closes the whole thing. It's very simple. Let's rip out all this ground here and I'll show you how it's done. The ground is all removed and you can see all the redstone wiring. This is the button and because I used a button I had to use a T flip flop. That's here. If you don't use a button and you just want to use a lever you can skip this whole catastrophe here and just lead this redstone directly into the rest of it. Now what happens is once the power comes through here it goes quickly to these five pistons which push out the gravel and push out the other pistons. Then on a one tick delay here the redstone goes to this side and this side gives all the pistons which are pushed over it makes them push up just like so. Just like that they push over and then up. Then the opposite happens when you turn it off. These things lose power because they're only on a one tick delay but these guys they retain power for four ticks. That allows these pistons to drop and then those pistons to push them over. If you don't have the timing correct these pistons will try to pull these pistons over when they're extended and that won't work. So that's what it looks like in overview. Now let's build one. Me personally I like to rip out a huge section of the ground for my workspace that way you're not crouched in a corner if possible. We'll pretend that this glass will be our floor just for the sake of seeing through it and you want to knock out a four square block or four square section. Now underneath this section and two blocks over you want to put five pistons. One, two, three, four, five just like that. Now in front of them you'll put two pistons here and then two pistons here just like so. Now, since we're using glass as our floor and we wanted to make it a hidden entrance, put glass here, glass on the end, and because I used gravel, I need to put a block here. In this case, it's not important, but if you're using gravel or sand, put a block there and then put your flooring there. Next stop, we're going to fill this all in because you don't want to see wiring and such, so this will be our, our tunnel. So it's perfectly normal. There's nothing, you can't see any wiring. Unfortunately you can see pistons, but there's nothing we can do about that. Now you want to put three repeaters going into these guys and then some redstone. Now here comes two important repeaters here. These are our timing repeaters. So you got this one on no delay and this one on five, four ticks. And make sure you connect it and those will come over to here. Now on this side, what we need to do is we need to send power to the pistons when they're extended, just like that. No problem there, just hook it up. Uh, another important timing repeater, two ticks here, and then we'll run it together like this. Now for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to use a switch as opposed to a button and we will put the switch here like so run the wiring to it and it should be all good to go just like that perfect floor then once you turn it off it's all retracted works out perfectly now like I said if you want to use a button you'll just have to hook up a T flip flop in here and you can search YouTube for how to do that uh, the good thing about this is the switch or the button, you can put it anywhere and run repeaters to it, you know, run redstone to it. I mean, you could have your, your button here, open up the floor way over here. It's nothing to it. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys like it. And any questions, leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching.